Hello friends, welcome again. In this session, we will take second part of our lecture on plane figures. In the first part, I told you very simple cases when plane figure is either parallel to HP or BP and one edge is inclined to either HP or BP. So we have taken alpha and beta as the angle made by the plate with reference plane and theta and phi are the angle made by edge of the plate. Edge is a line, therefore angle made by line reference plane is only shown by theta phi. Angle made by the plate is alpha theta. So in the last class we discussed alpha theta case, alpha phi case, beta theta case and beta phi case. You can refer that session for understanding these cases. Now let us say the plate is inclined and in case number 5, plate inclined to both. That means the plate is now in the oblique plane. Let us say plate relates angle alpha with vertical plane and beta with vertical plane. So the plate lies in the oblique plane which will make angle alpha with sp and beta with vertical plane. Now here, first step is to draw the VTH of the oblique plane. Draw VTH and VTH alpha beta are known. You can draw VTH either by one method or by perpendicular line method and these two methods I have explained in another session on oblique planes. So let us say this is the VTH of an oblique plane. Plane lies in this oblique plane. Now convert this plane, convert this plane into either a line plane or into a plane. So let us take a plane perpendicular to horizontal trace that is ADP, ADP and project this vertical trace on this ground line and this conversion also I explained to you in the chapter of oblique planes. So take this distance here and then join these points you get the new vertical trace v one g one h three let's say now this plane is converted into an inclined plane this is because v t is inclined now so this is converted into inclined plane v t is inclined h three is converted into ground line and therefore it is an inclined plane now this case is reduced to this case alpha case when the plate is inclined to horizontal plane and I just tell you how we did it when the plate is inclined to horizontal plane in my first lecture I told you that we place the plate in horizontal plane first and then its elevation will lie on the ground line now we take a right plane making angle alpha, rotate this point about the T and you get a new plan. Plan will move parallel to ground line, each corner, so this is C1, B1, A1. This is the plan A B C. And this is the element. That is how we handle case when the plate is inclined to horizontal plane. Now, here is the horizontal plane. Here is the horizontal plane. And this is the inclined plane. With respect to this ABP. With respect to this ABP. So let us first place the plate in the horizontal plane. You can place this plate in any position. You can place this plate in any position. 
I have just kept this edge parallel to ground line. So let us say A, B, and C. <coughs> Project this plate on ground line. In the vertical plane, vertical plane A, B, B. So here perpendicular. You get point B one dash, C one dash, and A one. Now compare this with this. You have a plate here in BC and it's an image on the ground plane. Now update each point about this T. About this T. So here is a T. Okay, each point about T. Rotate each point about T. And bring it on the vertical trace. So rotate each point about T1 and get the auxiliary elevation on this word P1, T1, like this. You get, you rotate each point here, A to A1 dash, B to B1 dash, and C to C1 dash. Same here, you rotate each point about T1 and go A1 dash, C1 dash, B1 dash. Now from each point, you will project the perpendicular to ground line. Remember, ground line is X1, Y1, X1, Y1. And therefore, you get the projection, new plan of each point. So, from each point perpendicular to ground line, and plan will move parallel to ground line. Okay? So, plan moves parallel to ground line. C, C will move like this. B will come to this position. A will come to this position. And this will be the final point C, B and A this point that is the time after rotating the plate now this plan and this elevation these are with respect to this ground line which is A, B you can take this auxiliary elevation to reference vertical plane. When you take this, you draw projector from each point in the plan and take distance of their elevations. It basically back projection. So from each point in the plan, you draw perpendicular in the vertical plane, perpendicular to xy, and take distance of their auxiliary elevation. This is small distance. I told you in my earlier session that distances are always measured from ground line. When you have a new ground line here, xy, we, dis we take distance from old ground line. Old ground line is x1, y1, and therefore this small distance is taken here for a. a dash is here. This distance is this one. For c, this is a distance. This distance. Take this distance here. c dash. And for B, this distance. B dash. This distance. Distance from ground line to ground line. So you get the elevation here. That is the other elevation. So what basically this process we do? We just we first draw the vertical trace, vertical trace of oblique plane, convert that into IP or ABP, then place the plate in HP or in BP. If you are converting this plate, this plane into ABP, then you should place this plate here and then project it on this IP. And from this IP, you get back on the vertical plane. So what you are doing here? This plate is first placed in the horizontal plane, then you rotate it like this so that it comes in the implant plane. And then rotate it like this so that it comes in the other position. That is inclined to both the reference planes at angle alpha and beta. So that is how you draw projection of a plate where it is inclined to HP and BP both. Now here, if you convert this plane into ADP, then it will be similar to the case that rather than 
Now this is the VTH or an oblique plane. You take a plane here, this will be ADP, this will be IP, sorry, this will be IP and you convert this into the resistance. Resistance is taken here. So this will be now A. This will be HT. And this will be what you have So place the plate here in the vertical plane. Let us place the plate in the vertical plane. Plate can be either triangular or rectangle or square, anything. And then project it on this IP. Let us say, you would say A, B, C, A, B, C, and you get B. Plan here. You get a plan here. Now, rotate these plans about T1. Is inclined to what 
critical plane and work as inclined to vertical plane. So that is the case. which we discussed in last session that if the plate is in in, in plane plane bth and condition of theta is that the elevation difference between a and b should be equal to l sin theta and therefore we take two points here at a high difference of l sin theta and that is a b and then rotate these points about t and then you can take the true length here of a t so this true length will be and you complete the figure okay you complete the figure let us see again a triangle a triangle right so when you place this plate on inclined plane after rotation, then this edge will make angle theta with the quadrant plane. So same case here, you place the plate in such a manner in the horizontal plane that when you bring it on the oblique plane, then it will is one edge will make angle theta. So you take these two points here parallel to ground line. And let us say this is this is L sin theta. Remember this distance is always measured perpendicular to ground line. L sin theta and A and B they are here. Let us say A1 dash B. So now rotate okay, these points about T1 and bring them on the ground. And complete the plate, complete the size of the plate. Let us say ABC is now true. ABC is now true. Now this now we have now come to this stage that when you place the plate ABC in horizontal plane, its elevation will be on the ground. Now we have kept this plate ABC in the horizontal plane and its elevation now will be on the ground. So this is C dash, A dash, B dash. And the remaining steps are exactly the same as in here. That you rotate the C and get their plan, new plan. This is the new plan. Let us say C, B, and A. Right? And from these plan points, you get B. Elevation. So from here, you draw perpendicular to ground line and you get the distance of these auxiliary elevations. So A, C, and B. That is B dash, that is A dash, and that is C dash. That is the plate. Elevation. Elevation. Okay? This distance is taken here. This distance for C, this distance. And this distance for B. This distance is for B. Now you see here. What is the difference, height difference between A and B? Now this height difference is same as L sin theta. You know you have taken this distance and this distance. So difference remains the same. So this distance should be L sin theta. And when you satisfy this condition of L sin theta in elevation, the line will make angle theta with the plane. So now the line makes Line AB or edge AB makes and in theta with the horizontal plane and plate is in oblique plane. That is how you solve alpha beta calculus. And similarly, you can do alpha beta phi case also. Alpha beta phi case. Angle phi can be measured in horizontal plane. 
So you can directly consider this case v1, t1, x1, and now you draw a line at angle 5 here. Angle 5 here because 5 angle rays are directly in the horizontal plane. So we draw a line at angle 5 with our line and take AB on this line. True length and complete the shape of the plate. A, B, C. Now this satisfies the condition of L sine phi. This is the condition of L sine phi. This is L sine phi. Okay, this is L sine phi. And it will remain there even after phi projection. So now you rotate each point here and draw the projection of this, projection of this, rotate them, bring them on the surface. This is V1 dash, this is C1 dash and this is A1 dash. From these points you get a plan, new plan for A is here, for C it is here and for B you get here. So that is the final plan ABC. And because you are moving parallel to ground line, so this difference L sin phi is maintained. And therefore the line you make and you find with the vertical plane. Now from these points you go to the vertical plane and back the elevation. Take the distance, resistance and resistance and you get a plate there. A triangle there. That is how we solve alpha, beta, theta and alpha, beta, phi cases. Now in all these examples I have taken either rectangle or a triangle as a case, but as I told you, it can be any shape. It can be a pentagon also, a square also, a hexagon also, and therefore you should know how to draw these figures. It can be even a circular plate also. Now, the, when you have a circular plate, which is When you have a circular plate and its diameter is, let us say, A, B, its plan will be here. But when you rotate this circular plate, either making angle with the vertical plane or with the horizontal plane or with both, then it will be an ellipse. The final projection will be ellipse and to draw ellipse you need at least 8 points. So what we do in case of circular plane because there is no corner here, there is no point here A, B, C, like A, B, C. So what we do, we take 8 points here on 4 diameters. So you draw 4 diameters of this plate and name them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And if you want to draw its projection when the plate is inclined to a horizontal plane, then these 2 and 8 will be. Now, this is the plan. Okay, 1 dash. 2 dash, 8 dash, 3 dash, 7 dash, 4 dash, 6 dash, and 5 dash. Now rotate each point. Rotate each point about T. This I explained to you in my last session. And then get the new plan. So you will get 8 points here. You will get 8 points in the plan. So this will
still move parallel to ground line. This is the new point one. Two will be here. Two is here. Eight is here. Three and seven will go to this position. Four and six will be here. And this five will be here. So let me just rename them. Two, new two, three, let us say one, one, two, one, three, one, eight, one, seven, one, and this is four, one, six, one, and five. Now you join all these eight points through a smooth curve. So that you get a parabola like this. We join them through. You join all these points one to eight by smooth curve to get to this. This is the plan of a circular plane which is inclined at angle alpha with a vertical plane. Similarly, you can draw. When it is implying the vertical plane or when it is implying to both the planes. When it is implying to both the planes and one diameter makes it an angle. As we have case, taken case alpha beta theta or alpha beta phi. So same case can happen with the circular plane also. That plane is inclined. Plane is inclined to vertical plane and vertical plane both. And one edge, one diameter is inclined to either sp or b. So you have to satisfy that and so forth. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. In this session we have discussed alpha, beta, theta, alpha, beta, five cases of plane triggers. In the next part, we will discuss some more complex cases of plane triggers.